Other people seem to enjoy nature best when it's seen through the lens of a camera. Photographers find endless photo possibilities at the two refuges, especially at scenic Matagorda Island. The Texas Parks and Wildlife Department operates a ferry to the island from Port O'Connor, Texas. People can also take privately owned boats to the island, which has windswept beaches and a picturesque lighthouse. The lighthouse, made of cast iron, was erected in 1852 after a series of shipping disasters in the area. Another historical attraction is the island's Civil War trenches. These are the only remains of traces of an 1863 battle in which Union forces took control of the island in order to cut off Confederate supply lines. In addition to recreational activities, some people like to spend time volunteering for the refuges. Volunteers can get involved working on biological, public use, and maintenance projects. For information about the volunteer program, please check with the Refuge Visitor Center or office. No matter what visitors choose to do at Aransas or Matagorda Island, they can't help but be struck by the unexpected beauty and profound tranquility that greets them here. In a world where we are increasingly detached from nature, a visit to Aransas and Matagorda Island National Wildlife Refuges reminds us of the value of maintaining strong connections with the natural world.